Hello and welcome everyone. Each day I get many messages where friends and students write that how today's message was as if I was giving them a direct message for their lives from the angels. That's absolutely what it is as each of these wonderful and powerful messages shall surely resonate with the current situation in many a lives in particular. As that is the universal energy of the day in which many would be going through similar events, thoughts or seeming issues. Seek and you shall find. Let's ask our angels what they have to say to us today. And for today's guidance, we shall ask the angels from the beautiful Magical Unicorns deck. Today's message, the angels tell us, you will know in the morning. That's such a sweet message. How amazing it is for us to know that something that we have been toying our minds with or something that has been very imperatively going on since days in our minds and occupying that space within us is going to be told to us the next morning. All right, so the angels tell that by tomorrow morning, they shall bring you some understanding and some revelation about a certain matter or person that you have been inquiring about. The angels guide us that when we wake up the next morning, we will have a better idea about what to do. Until then, we must release all anxiety, fears or cares into their hands and let none of these toxins stop us from listening to them. Stop us from receiving their guidance through any tangible form in the world. It could be through a personal conversation, through the television, through a book or just about anywhere. So keep your mind, heart and spirit open to see what your angels bring to you the next morning. And truly, even though each angel message is for the energy of the day, the message technique and guidance is universal. Which means, this guidance for the particular way or method of handling the situation would be something that you can keep using in your life ahead. To transcend all that is unserving or blocking you in any way. Tomorrow in India, the festival of Dashera shall be celebrated. A festival representing the victory of Lord Ram over the ten-headed demon king Ravana and also representing the victory of Goddess Durga over the demon Mahishasur. But the real practical and spiritual essence applicable to this wonderful festival would be to dissolve and destroy all that is seemingly negative or least intensity of good in, within or around us. So happy last day of the Navratri to all of you. Let the band of angels steer your way ahead. Stay blessed, loved and protected in love and light and Godspeed. <laughs>